All right, so I found this really cool old Wilcox Crittenden. I think that's how you say it. And it's pretty sweet. Um, I only paid 50 bucks for it. And it came with a couple of full rebuild kits. So, yeah, I'm gonna take it apart and see if I can get it working right. And then this is gonna be the head on Corky. I think this is what it originally came with, so it'd be cool to put the uh, original head back in there. It's all bronze and heavy-duty gaskets. Some of the gaskets are actually made out of leather. Alright, so I've got these parts cleaned pretty well. And I'm going through and just kind of figuring out where everything is supposed to go. So I'm in the process of putting this all back together. And I put this little piston back in. And uh, I just thought it was pretty cool that it uses these leather cups as seals for the actual just like plunger part of it. So, and I have some spare leather cups. I just thought that was pretty cool. I've never seen anything like that. But apparently they used to use a lot of leather uh, back in the day to seal stuff, which I thought was pretty cool. All right, so I've pretty much got this thing back together. Seems to be working pretty smoothly. I'm sure this will get tighter as you uh, tighten this nut down for the packing. Hey, what's up guys? So uh, we just wanted to let everyone know that we finally launched an online store and um, we've got some pretty cool shirts on there. This is our Skeleton Crew shirt. You can see that's me and Ben. I don't know which one's me and which one's Ben, but we're sailing on uh, Corky. But yeah, we have some other pretty cool shirt designs on there and uh, we also have this mug in case you're a coffee drinker. We also have these pretty sweet stickers. And we're gonna be working on some uh, other products like koozies and some other sailing related stuff. So yeah, if you enjoy our videos and wanna support the making of the videos and uh, support the project, head on over to the store and pick up some merch. So we finally got the Catalina running uh, pretty reliably and uh, felt a lot more comfortable about taking it out now, taking some more people out with us. And yeah, it was a really nice day. Everything was going great. We were having a good time. The cup holder was working out great until the starboard side chain plate broke. We didn't catch it on video, but uh, it was pretty crazy. It wasn't as violent as I thought it would be. I, I heard it happen and I kind of saw like the, the top of the deck shutter when it broke. But I was, it took me a while to like register in my head what had happened. But yeah, I figured it out and then uh, we ended up using the main halyard to support the mast. We dropped the sails as fast as we could and then uh, used the main halyard to uh, support that side of the mast. But it really didn't flex that much at the top. Thankfully, uh, the wind had kind of died down like immediately after it happened. So we were pretty lucky. And we were able to get all the sails down and uh, get it supported by that main halyard. But it doesn't look like there was any other damage that was caused. Uh, the mast still looks nice and straight and didn't get bent or anything like that. So yeah, plan is to redo all the rigging. Um, I think we're gonna take it to the shipyard and have them pull the mast down. And uh, we'll probably just store the mast there. I think they have a place to store them and uh, work on them. And uh, we'll just bring the boat back here into the slip. 
and uh, we'll take all the rigging off, take all the chain plates off, try to get those matched up. And um, I may get a quote to have someone just uh, redo all the rigging. Just I'll take them the old rigging, they'll make it the new rigging, and I'll, I'll reinstall it. Um, but I may get a quote to see how much they would charge to do that, just to save me some time. And uh, yeah, it sucks. That was our first first sale. I was taking my wife Emily out, and uh, that was her first time on it. And yeah, it sucks, man. The chain plate just broke. I mean, we kind of knew we were gonna have to replace the rigging anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. So, yeah, stay tuned for some rigging work and uh, all kinds of other crazy projects. Well, since both of our boats are now out of commission, I've still been able to get some sailing in. This is uh, me sailing with a couple of friends. This is my buddy Reagan's boat and we're doing a Wednesday night race out on Clear Lake. And these are pretty fun. There's some pretty intense moments. And uh, his boat is just really fun to sail. And I'm starting to pick up a lot more on uh, sail trim and stuff like that. So it's been cool. So Ben has also been doing some racing with a guy named Bill. He has a pretty sweet YouTube channel. He puts a lot of work into his videos. And uh, if you want to see some more uh, sailboat racing in the Galveston area, you should check out his videos. I'll put a link in the description. All right, well, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I know it was kind of all over the place, but uh, we should be back to our normal boat working type videos in the next one. So remember to uh, subscribe and leave us a like and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.